What is going on, you stark raving lunatics? Let's get into it really quickly here. I told you yesterday that Luna Classic is finally on that collision course with a dollar. It's a little ways out, but we've made progress in the realm of pieces that go and that start to fit into this gigantic puzzle to get something happen. Now, one of the things is we talked about the repeg plan that's going on, and one of the it's 90% complete is the answer that I got. And one of the pieces that are still missing was how burns fit into the process. So uh, a lot of people were asking, well, why don't we just have a plan ready to go? Well, because it takes time and not everybody's working on it because everybody has their own thing to do. And uh, so we'll get into this. We'll talk a little bit about it, uh, but there's some really important information that just came out. Uh, it's breaking and uh, you guys are gonna find out somewhere near first, something like that. Terraform Labs clear to wind down amid bankruptcy by the U.S. court. So um, the bankruptcy has been approved. The, uh, the, the the official amount that it looks like Terraform Labs is going to end up paying is between 184 and $442 million total to creditors. That includes Three Arrows Capital, uh, might even include the SEC. I don't know if they actually paid $4.47 billion. The SEC wanted that as a feather in their cap. Uh, and, and just to be fair here... Um, Gary Gensler came out and he said, you know, I just wanted you guys to know that in the, uh, uh, you know, in the year of 2024, the, uh, the SEC was able to collect $4.7 billion. $4.47 billion of that was uh, Terraform Lab. So uh, this is just basically them trying to gouge somebody. I don't think they get the cash. I don't, th I don't think they get or got the cash uh, because the SEC has not set up anything in order to repay anybody to begin with. So uh, this was part of this was disgorgement, if you remember. And disgorgement means that they're trying to claim back money that was lost in order to pay it back to uh, people who were affected. Not the case at all. So uh, the SEC still deceiving you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, anyway, so then we have Chris Amani. This goes back to June, by the way, but he acknowledged that there was a lot of stuff going on and that now they're ready to do the wind down. So what you're going to see over the next 30 uh, to 45 days, you're going to see an enormous amount of burning going on with all of their wallets. And you'll see a bunch of Luna burn. You'll see a bunch of Lunk burn. You're going to see a bunch of USTC burn. Uh, you know, all this, start, all this process started, but now it'll uh, start winding down for real. So uh, get excited because there's something big on the horizon. Now, as far as the rest of it goes, the prediction, remember yesterday we talked about this and the prediction here was a 50% price surge. And where would that 50% price surge go? Oh yeah, uh, three zeros 13, which is what I've been telling you guys for a while. Well, um, they said it, uh, a surge ahead of bankruptcy. I didn't think that was going to happen, but if it were to happen, it would be right to the place that we were talking about. Now, the reason I say that is because I don't think I ever told you that before a bankruptcy that was going to happen. I don't think that that's the case. I think the fallout from the bankruptcy is what provides that multiplier to get us into that range. So uh, be watching for something to happen pretty soon. As far as Commonwealth goes, uh, stable coins be supported by CDP mechanisms, USTC repeg compiled article and community insights. Nothing really, you know, there, there's nothing incredible kind of just popping up out of nowhere. And as far as station goes, uh, there were a couple things that did not happen. Of course, the burns not going to happen. There's less than 24 hours left. I don't see how that passes. I think they were just going to let USTC and, and Terraform Labs do their thing. Um, I think most people felt like Happy Caddy Crypto is kind of jumping the shark here um, and, and trying to jacuse uh, a company who is going to do something before they even get a chance to do it. Uh, and I don't think that's a motivator. That's just a blacklisting, and that's not what decentralization is all about. So I think maybe we missed the mark on this just a little bit. But uh, the, uh, there's a proposal to improve the governing, uh, the governance module mechanism by BLV Labs that's now been KYC. That's getting a lot of yes votes at this point. So um Maybe we'll see something happen with that one, uh, but the rest of it, not out there uh, yet. And there's some, some proposals coming up, but uh, they're not here yet. Uh, as far as price action, let's talk price real quick. Uh, what we got was uh, exactly kind of what we were expecting here. Now, uh, look, when I zoom this out, this is, did exactly what I was saying, but I still think we're going up into this range here, just taking a little bit longer to play out, if you will. So I do think there's going to be an impulse move up into this range before settling back down right in here in between. And you'll see it just like this, just like this right here. You'll see it just kind of um, stuck, get stuck right in between uh, these two ranges. These two ranges are part of the Fibonacci tool. So if you don't know how to use the Fibonacci tool, by the way, you might want to learn something. Uh, I do have a video up for that and I'll put a link to it somewhere. Uh, so 
Um, but we had the move. We've got the consolidation. We bounced off of 382 up to 236. If you want to stay up to date on all the goings on of cryptocurrency, then you need to follow me on cryptonomy.finance. My name is Bleeves Crypto, and this is my latest article, Tapped In, the Evolution of Digitally Linked Assets. Go and follow me. Learn a little bit about cryptocurrency. It's very important. Uh, Cryptonomy offers high quality research from professional analysts, 24 seven instant support for every community member and other information channels where critical updates are posted daily. I'm going to leave a link down below for you to go into each one of those channels, the Cryptonomy update, the Cryptonomy finance and the Cryptonomy news channel. One of the biggest plays right now is real world assets. So I I'm about to drop 1100 link into a staking contract that's going to last me for nine months with a 64.8% return. Just like that, we're staked. Guys, if you're interested in keeping your money and making more of it, then cryptonomy.finance should be on your radar. Sign up today. So now that zero breakout is what's in, in, in the cards. Okay, so now if that happens, then of course we're going to be making our way up to the golden ratio, which is again up here at 3016. That includes 13, which by the way, when you start to zoom out and you do this on a daily basis, then you see that that comes a, a spot of resistance because it's right there into this range right here. So that's probably going to happen at some point very, very soon. We'll probably see that breakout. Uh, and I don't think it'll take too long. There's a lot going on in this market. There seems to be a lot of uh, positivity starting to happen here. So um, you know, it's a continuation. So let's keep going. As far as volume goes up 46% again off of 50% the day before, off of 38% the day before. So it's very nice to see. However, when this happens, I do want to say this, this tends to cause downward pressure. So I'll be watching that overall market cap to see what happens there. And you can see it's already playing out. We're up 20% today, but the market cap on USTC starting to go down. Now, USTC uh, starting to go down, that might be uh, on the surface a bad thing. But I mean, if you really kind of face facts, there's a, a real opportunity here uh, on USTC for just a massive run coming pretty soon. Soon as they pro as soon as a proposal comes out to repeg and start to work Terra Classic uh, USDTC back to a dollar, believe me, there's going to be a whole lot of people buying a whole lot of USTC. And the people who bought it this range right now probably make a whole lot of money. I mean, if you play it right. So watch out for it because something's about to happen. Um, now, when I say about to, that's subjective. So uh, we got to get through October. We got to close out the bankruptcy right after that. Once it's closed down, uh, then we'll see the repeg proposal start to come to fruition. We'll start to see that. So you know, just bear that in mind. Um, as far as the voting and everything goes, uh, we are we already know how everything's kind of played out here. So uh, nothing really to talk about there, except Burns. I do want to point out. Remember, this is in the 200 million range. This is in the top end of that 200 million range, which means that there are significant burns continuing to happen. So uh, burns are a little bit more than what they've been for the last little while. So uh, make sure that you uh, contribute if you can. And the way you contribute right here, baby. Uh, look, World Poker League giving away 2 million euros from September 20th to December 22nd on Terra Casino. Uh, Pirates Map, you can play that now with Platypus. That's now available um, uh, if you want to check that out. Pragmatic Play is sponsoring a 400,000 US dollar giveaway from August 26th to September 30th. Mustang Gold Megaway. All you got to do is try. All you got to do is, is play. Just play. Just go sign up today. The link in the description below and start playing and start winning. And guys, we get hundreds of thousands of dollars. We win millions of dollars. Then I get some too, right? You would do that, right? You wouldn't? Whatever then. Ugh gross. All right. So evolution, finally, 1.2 million euros, September 2nd to September 29th. Guys, these are gigantic numbers. And if you were interested, you can use uh, Lunk, you can use Luna, you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon Matic. You can use Link. You can use um, X going to give it to you at some point. Um, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin. There's a lot of new uh, coins and tokens that are going to be coming into this ecosystem from what I hear. No confirmation yet, but I think that's um, uh, it, it's coming. And if you want to trade meme coins, uh, go to Terra, uh, terraport.finance and start trading those today. In fact, if you look over here, um, coin all, you'll notice uh, price be going up, dog. Um, what's up, dog? <laughs> Uh, frog, by the way, uh, remember Frog, we, we were sitting here at like a dollar or two the other day. Now it's up to $40. Um, 
Uh, Garuda X is up. USTC starting to pump a little bit. Uh, we're getting, you know, the, all of these numbers that I have right here starting to get a little bit of a rise, which is very nice to see. So, um, you know, this is only going to continue. It's only going to continue. Will there be ups? Will there be downs? Yes, there'll be both. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, we're getting in a much better position now. Uh, Juris to Terra, these these um, uh, trends right now. Uh, Lunk to Terra, Rocket to Terra, unfavorable. Those are down on the pairing because. Uh, Lunk is up, Terra is down, so your your pairings are kind of off a little bit on some of those. And and look, go in here, check these out, try to figure out what's best for you. Now, remember, I do have the stake over here. There's one slot available for staking right now. Um, I've got mine staked over here. I've got about a month left in this staking protocol, winning uh, an extra hundred and thirty. Uh, I can claim all the rewards right now, but why? Like why? You know what I mean? Uh, just earning a little bit more. Remember, I do have some base as well. Um, and uh, here we go. If you want to yield farm, if you're not getting into the staking, you can yield farm and you can do liquid staking as well. Those are going to help you out tremendously. Get you a bigger bag. That's what it's all about, right? All right. Anyway, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.